Here's part two for using base 10 blocks to represent numbers. Let's start with a quick review first of all, off of what these blocks look like. So we have this one here we said was like, he's like a baby Elmo. He's so small and cute like Elmo. And we call these guys the units, the ones. And then we move on, we get 10 of these stacked. We get a 10 or we call it also a rod. And then 10 of these rods side by side makes a hundred. Um, we call those also flats. And then 10 of these hundreds, makes a thousand blocks. They're j big jumbo ones, they're big. Um, the rule is 10. Every time you have 10 of something, you gotta put them together and uh, use it to make, I guess, the next level of blocks. So the ones become the tens, the tens become the hundreds and, and such and so forth. Um, okay, so let's do this one here. Remember that rule of 10, all right? It's gonna come back. Okay, so you got this, um, pile of blocks here and uh, you gotta tell me what number it represents what number is this here okay so i know what you, you're thinking here oh, mr Malm, i got this i know what i'm doing here i know what first thing i gotta make my hto i know you really want us to do is i'm gonna make it okay so we got it it's good good start hto now let's fill in the blanks i know what you're thinking here you're thinking okay mr Malm, i got this again look i'm gonna put one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i'm gonna put twelve here what how did why why is that wrong? Why did it buzz? Hopefully that's a buzzer that means yeah I got it right. No, that's actually the wrong buzzer. That's the wrong answer buzzer because you you don't put twelve in there. Remember what we said about the rule of ten? Anytime you have ten, you got to stick them together and make the next category of blocks. So we've got twelve of these guys here. That's too many. So we're gonna take ten of them and move them together. So count with me here. We got three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Let's put them here. Ten. Okay, there. We made it. Now these guys here, I'm going to stick them together. I'm going to group them. See? Woo! We're going to move them around too. No, we don't want another one. There, just one of them. That's good enough. So we'll put them together. Let's uh, do this now. Okay, so we'll change that 12 now. What do we have here? How many ones? These don't exist anymore. These are now at 10. We'll stick them with the 10s. These are the only ones we have, right? The units, we got two of them. So we'll change it. Beautiful. We got two ones. Now, how many 10s? Okay, Mr. Melm, I got this. I got three 10s. Huh? Three is wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. You know why? Because look, we made another one here out of the ones. We stuck them together and we got ourselves a new rod. So we got to include that as part of this group here. We got one. Check it out. And here's the fourth one. He doesn't spin though. So we actually have four. We couldn't see it at first when these uh, ones were all split up. We couldn't tell really that we had an extra rod. But when we stuck them together, we're like, okay, now he moves into the next group. And that's called regrouping. Anytime you stick blocks together to make a new group or, or a new kind of type of block, it's called regrouping. And now what do we have here? How many hundreds? Just one. And how do we stay how do we say this number? We say it like this. 142. Okay, I know now you probably can do this one here. So feel free, you can just work ahead of me if you'd like, but you got to remember step 1. HTO, baby. Make those blanks. Now let's count the blocks. Okay, so ones. How many ones do you see? I see uh the units the ones, we see two of them. So I'll put two, right? Yeah, so far so good. How about the tens? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we'll put eleven, right? Mm -mm, that's not right. Why not though? Why can't I counted eleven? Why can't I put eleven? Well, because remember the rule of ten? Once you can find ten, you stick those ten together and only those ten, and you make a new type of block. So these tens are going to, now follow me here. We got two, three, four. These stack nicely. Oh, this one here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So what does this turn into? What do ten tens make? Wait, let's move that. Now, I know it doesn't look like it, but they're supposed to be a um, hundred flat. 10 of these rods makes one of these hundreds. So now how many tens do you see, right? We can't put 11 tens because we have to take 10 of them and stick them together. 
can't put 11. So we have one rod left. That's all we have. All those rods that were sitting there initially at first really were kind of uh, in disguise. They were really 100 flat. But in reality, we just had one of these guys. So we'll change it to one. So now how about hundreds? We got 200, so we'll put two. So I know you're probably saying, yeah, Mr. Mum, I know you got this one here. That's also 100, so I got to make 300s. I got I to put 300s, and that would be correct. So saying this number, would you'd say it like this. 300, because 300, and then 1 and 2 side by side makes 12. By the way, how many of these ones, how many of these ones do we have all together, including this 100 flat and these 10s? If you were to count these blocks one by one, one, two, three, four, and even all these little ones, how many ones would you know, would you have in this picture? Well, look, the answer would be 312. That's what this number states, that we have 312 of these babies going on here. We have, if you were to count this, we have 100 here, 100 there. We got, that's 200, right? And this here has 100 little ones as well. That's 300 babies. Baby animals. And we got uh, 10 in here. So 310, 312. Oh boy, that's a mess. Okay, let's clean it up. Remember the rule of 10. Um, so what, what do we do here? We got uh, HTO, put that in. And we're going to stick these together. Let's start with the ones, actually. Let's do that. Let's go one, two three oh not him not him either four five six seven eight nine ten there we have an extra ten rod so we have too many ones right we stuck those ones together now we've made a ten let's glue them i'm gonna go like this and glue now how about the tens looks like we got a lot of those so we can uh, probably regroup them so two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Let's glue them together. And that makes what? That looks it's supposed to make a hundred flat. Doesn't look as nice and organized. But look, I, I got a hundred over here. Now let's fill in this chart. How many ones do we have? We got one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, wait, we got three here. That's the wrong answer. Oh, no, Mr. Mom. Okay, look, I messed it up. I got to change it. It's supposed to be four. Now, let's change this one. How many? Well, not change it. We count the tens. We got one, two, three, four, and uh, don't forget this one here, five. And then the hundreds, remember we made the hundred? It's right here. And we just have one of them. How do we say this number now? We say it as 100. 5 and 4 makes 54. Oh, no. So what's wrong? It's the word and. You can't put the word and in there, right? So you just got to say 150. Well, it's supposed to be 54. By the way, let's make this one disappear. We don't want and. Yeah. So we've got 500 or 150 F-O-U-R. And the last question goes like this. What is the value of 100 flat, 18 rods, and 5 units? Here's what you I recommend you do. Anytime they don't draw the blocks, they just kind of tell you how many blocks there are, I want you to draw it every time. So let's go ahead and draw this. So 100 looks like this. It's just a big square. 18 rods, don't waste time on those. Just make them like this. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want you to stop at ten and start a new row. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And then five units. One, two, three, four, five. Now the reason I asked you to stop at ten is because these are gonna be regrouped. I'm gonna circle them. Okay? And what does this turn into? It turns into another hundred. There we go. Now it looks a little bit more neater, a little bit more organized. These are gone. I'm not going to count them. I have two of the hundreds. I've got all these tens and all these ones, and I can fill in my HTO chart. So I've got two of the hundreds. I've got eight, one, eight, what are these? Eight rods, eight tens. 
and five ones. Let's say this number now together. 285.